PC version of King of Avalon has now arrived. So no need for uh, for those emulators. Let's see how this version works. I'm going to take you through the setup process. So where can you find the game? How can you install it? How do you bind your existing account? And also there is a free gift code for those people on the PC version only available if you've got that PC version running. So I'll take you through the code for that and how to claim it. Okay, so I'll put the link in the description down below so you can get to the uh, download location. Now, the requirements for this, you've got to have a PC, not a Mac version currently, I'm afraid. So the PC's minimum requirements, so it would need to be Windows 7 up to Windows 11, so 7, that's going a long way back now. Uh, Quad-core CPU with VT support, uh, 8 gig of RAM, so you can normally check that on your computer, so uh, if you go to your search button, and if you check for system information, so on your system information you'll be able to check these stats, uh, might be worth just downloading it to see if it works, uh, typical modern, uh, you'd need 8, so a typical modern computer should be around that level, but these are reasonably high specs, so if you've got a very old computer, it might not be ready for that yet. Okay, so once you've gone to the link, there's a couple of different links out there. One will just immediately download the file to your computer. Other one might take you to this uh, King's Group page, and you'll be able to click on the Windows button. Now that will automatically download the uh, the file. Now depending on your browser, there might be a download bar at the bottom, or you can go into your downloads. So if you go to the menu at the top right, I am working on a so this is the Windows Edge browser, and on Chrome there'll normally be a bar at the bottom, so click on the three dots on the Microsoft Edge, the built-in browser, and then you've got Downloads here, and here's your list of downloads. You may have already seen that pop up, so either way, you then want to, uh, you'd want to shut down everything else on your computer, it generally makes it safer doing an, an install if there's nothing else running, but uh, I've got to be recording whilst doing this, so... Then you see it will install on your computer and it's actually automatically updating. So there is an auto update setup so it will keep itself up to date without needing to manually do it. So that is uh, extremely helpful. Okay, so this is now prompting me to play through the tutorial. Probably should have clicked skip. So let's exit the game and go back around, shall we? So it did bring up the game, but you can actually close the game account. And now I can get the choice to change link or switch my account here. So if uh, you click on, so if you click on confirm, and it's got the default account that's been set up for me, but I can now link my account or I can add an account. Okay, so you see the question mark at the top here. If you click on this, it will open the help section. And here are the guides to uh, how to log in, how to enable VT and hotkeys. So there are five different ways that you can log in. So you can use your phone number, email address, Facebook account, Google account, and a VK account. So if you've already got a character that's bound to an account, you should log in with this character directly using your PC. And if you wanted to bind an existing account, then you should uh, do those actions on your device first. They say Android, I presume that would work for the iOS as well. So these instructions for how to bind your account, I've already got a video on binding your account, so do check that one out here. So now I'm assuming that you've finished binding your account. So once you've done that, you can go to the, uh, to the desktop app and you'll see at the top here that you can add an account. So that's what you want to do. So click on your uh, on the icon for the game and you'll see the account management pop up. At the bottom here you see the plus ID add account. So that's what the option you want to be using. Now it is currently prompting me to use my Fun Plus details. So the first option would be trying to log into Fun Plus. If you don't want to, if you've bound it using Google, for example, or Facebook, then uh, here are the other options below. So, and also you've got the little green phone here, so that allow you to log in with your phone number. So depending on how you set up your Fun Plus, you can use your phone number or you can use your email. And then they'll ask you to get a verification code. So add the code if you're if you're using the uh, phone login, then use your verification code and click log in. Now there is a time limit, so uh, once they've sent you the code, you'll only have a minute to carry on, so make sure you're ready to go immediately. And there we go, I now have access to all my different characters I've already set up. Let's log into my main Lunar account, so switch character. And actually, interestingly, the, uh, the game they set up automatically is actually still available here, so if you've been playing the tutorial and didn't want to go to your other games, there's one way of doing it. So I've selected the account that I want here, and then shut this, and then click enter. And now it's loading the game, so I'll be getting into my old account, so that's awesome, I can keep playing on the desktop version. 
You can see there's still a really close connection with the Android version as well, so binding accounts and the like needs to be done on Android before you can switch over to the desktop version, so do make sure that you do that. Okay, so the event center's come up, okay. So here we are, mostly full screen, and uh, so far everything is functioning fine. I've not used, this is my first time playing on the desktop version, so I'll need to test it on some of the more high intensity events. So let's go tech out a monster, make sure that's working okay. Okay, so that's sending fine, finding Ravager camps, yeah, so everything's working really smoothly for me. So this version, really helpful, I do do a lot on desktop anyway for filming especially. So this will make my filming experience that bit easier, so that's uh, going to help me get more content out for you guys. There we go, so rallying and camp, taking out a monster. Yeah, so everything working sweet. So there is a gift code that you can use in the game. You can see that it is play KOA on PC. Now they say this is only available on the PC version. So let's crack that open now and check it out. So if you click on your Lord profile picture, and then if you go to settings at the bottom right here, and then gift codes, and let's enter that code now. So it is play KOA on PC. Code successful. So, should we check out what we got? Alright, so 22,000 large hero XP, 120 silver summoning horns, 5 hours of construction speedups, 5 superhero skill scrolls, and 55 minute speedups. So, always helpful, and uh, yep, yeah, now you can play on the PC and get some free stuff to help progress your game even faster. So check out my newest playlist, which is how to level up your account. Everything you need to know to grow faster on King of Avalon.